Okay, so here we are on Thursday. What you see here is a result of all the printing all week long. So I have the one newsletter to Saddle Stitch. I'd like to take that up, but it needs to be mailed tomorrow or today. I'm probably going to do it tomorrow. We have a thousand perfect bound books that I'd like to have wrapped on a pallet today so a freight truck can come tomorrow. Uh, I'm currently printing another mailing, so that'll probably get mailed with the other newsletter that I'm stitching. And if I have time, I'll get started on these 500 books. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do first or second or third or fourth. I don't know, I gotta think about this. I'm gonna fold and tab this small handout, fold this job, then fold and tab the mailing that's printing right now. Then I'm gonna stitch the newsletters, and when that's done, probably by 11 or 12, then we're gonna bind the thousand books. So hopefully, by the end of the day, this stuff will all be done. And if it, fall, if it falls into tomorrow morning, uh, I can easily box those books up and wrap them on a pallet uh, because the freight uh, would be picked up in like the afternoon. So that's my game plan. But in amongst all that stuff, I'm also gonna be shooting some emails out, uh, doing some other things. But I think it can all be done. We're gonna try. pretty well had to change out the uh, the tab you guys know the drill I think it's the fastest time I've ever gotten that job done. And that went really well. It stopped once, there was nothing wrong. It said I had a double, but I didn't. And the first one out wasn't quite perfect, so I only had one bad one. So I have all these extras, which is great. I have to start printing less extras. So in my closing the gap experimentation, I'm pretty sure this is gonna fold a lot nicer because this job has the correct grain direction and I'm not gonna get any hiccups here in the folding. But I don't wanna try it on this job because this job is already has addresses on them and I can't mess up one. So I'm not gonna experiment with this job. But sometime in the future, Okay, the results are in. As you just saw, I had no problems lowering that down. Uh, the gap on the last 11 inch job, I had it at like 34. I was at 30 and I think I probably could have kept going, but I didn't feel comfortable because I didn't want any mess ups on this. Grain direction, 
Why didn't I think of that? That, uh, that other stuff that I was folding was against the grain. This is with the grain, folded like a dream. Since these aren't laminated, the bottom side as it goes through the cutter here shows any imperfections a little bit more. I could just put new cutting sticks in, uh, but the knives on here should just be replaced uh, and then get these sharpened. I think it's been like 20,000 trims or something and typically they recommend like 10,000 uh, for a knife, but I never go by recommendations, I just go by eye because sometimes you can get more out of it. But before I run these books, I'm gonna replace the knives and put new cutting sticks in all the way around. While I was in here, I saw that these gibbs looking a little dry, so just put a little bit of grease on here. Don't go crazy, a dab will do ya. Much better. Before, after. I just had to stop finding the perfect bound books. It turns out it only takes one business day to get from here to Ohio, a pallet of books. That, I was thinking it's gonna be like three to five days, but when they pick up here, they're gonna deliver in Ohio tomorrow, so I'm just gonna wait another day or two on that. So sorry, you won't see the finished product, but that's nothing you haven't seen already. Thanks again for watching. Got some cool stuff coming up in upcoming videos. Got some uh, servicing to do on the 6500 and a lot of printing to do on all three machines. So don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you later.